I mean, we take for granted every day just being able to walk around and I had to learn that all over again. For Roman, getting a prosthetic leg was bittersweet. I miss the military a bunch and miss uh, my brothers in service. But it was time to build back up again, learning to walk with his new limb. And then eventually being able to run uh, and then my son calling me out and saying he wanted to race me. He then took it a step further and started competing in the Paralympics, becoming an American gold medalist sledge hockey player. It was just something I picked up uh, during my rehab. I uh, had no clue it was even a Paralympic sport, uh, but so happy I did. For orthodontist Tim Nelson, this is exactly what he works for. Colorado Springs, being such a big military town, um, it's a great privilege if we work with the uh, patients and veterans um, in our community. Saying in the last 20 years, prosthetics has come a long way. With the advent of microfibers or carbon fiber and some of the microprocessors, which basically makes the, um, the device much lighter, much easier to use. I'm a lot more active. Uh, I don't have to depend on a cane or uh, prescribe uh, pain pills, so I feel like I'm more free to do uh, as I please, just kind of like an able body. Roman says he has three different legs, allowing him to adjust depending on the day. For instance, with the microprocessor leg, uh, I don't have to look kind of where I'm walking all the time as I did when I uh, wore my mechanical knee. It's much easier for them to walk and get around through uneven environments. And in Roman's case, playing hockey and getting back to what he loves. That sense of camaraderie, the teamwork that goes involved, and again, being able to represent my country is uh, definitely something I, uh, I cherish.